Assalamu alaikum this is Dr Kamal Ramnani from Tax Schooling today i would be talking about atrophy initially starting from the definition that what is atrophy atrophy is simply decrease in organ size what is atrophy atrophy is decrease in organ size due to any stimulus due to any stimulus when there is decrease in the organ size that is known as atrophy and atrophy occur atrophy occur due to decrease in cell number and decrease in cell size so eventually eventually when the cell number or the cell size is decreased when the cell numbers are decreased or when the cell size is decreased eventually the size of organ is eventually the size of the organ is decreased now taking this this concept ahead before talking that how does the cell number and cell size affect the organ size we must talk about what is that stimulus due to which organ size decreases let's talk about stimulus first then we will talk about mechanism before talking uh, there is uh, before talking to stimulus there are two kind of stimulus the stimulus can be physiological and the stimulus can be pathological the stimulus can be physiological the stimulus can be pathological the stimulus the physiological stimulus can be the embryonic development the atrophy is simply the decrease in the size in the size of the organ due to any stimulus that stimulus can be the embryonic development for example there are two uh, organ the organ such as notochord its size is decreased due, during the embryonic development or the thyroglossal duct the size of thyroglossal uh, thyroglossal duct is also decreased due, uh, during the embryonic development which is in the tongue number 2 the embryonic development can be the uterus size after parturition Uh, when there is the pregnancy and after the birth of the child if i make a simple uh, uterus here if i make a simple uterus here during during the birth of the child in the uterus during the birth of the child of the uterus the size of the uterus increase but after the parturition or after the delivery the size of the uterus decreases that is physiological so during the embryonic development such as notochord and thyroglossal duct the size of the organ is decreased and during the parturition after the parturition the uterus size is decreased number 3 embryo uh, number third physiological stimulus can be the the loss of loss of endocrine st stimulation where does the loss of endocrine stimulation occur for example the loss of endocrine stimulation occur the loss of endocrine stimulation occur at the menopause at menopause the level of estrogen decreases and as the level of estrogen decreases so with that as the level of estrogen decreases with that uh, we the size of uterus is decreased the size of vaginal epithelium is increased decreased the size of uterus is also decreased so these are some physiological stimulus by which we see there is a decrease in organ size let's revise these physiological stimulus 
the embryonic development during embryonic development notochord and thyroglossical duct these two structures do, uh, are decreased or these two structures are atrophed due to physiological stimulus the uterus after parturition is also atrophed and loss of endocrine stimulation also the loss of endocrine stimulation due to just like the hormone the hormone concentration has decreased that's why the organ size is also decreased now what are some pathological cause which cause the atrophy in pathological cause initially we see the disuse for example for example this is a bone and this bone undergo a fracture and as this bone undergo a fracture as this bone undergo a fracture the skeletal muscle the skeletal muscle which is inserted on this bone undergo disuse there's no use of use of this skeletal muscle till this this till this bone is repaired till this bone repairs itself this skeletal muscle does not work then this skeletal muscle this skeletal muscle this skeletal muscle undergo atrophy number 2 pathological stimulus number in number 2 pathological stimulus we have ischemia for example there is an organ for example there is a organ such as heart lungs liver anything and a blood supply is supplied to that organ when that blood supply is cut off due to any reason the organ size is shrinked or decreased and and that decrease size of the organ is due to decreased blood supply that is also the pathological cause of atrophy and number third pathological cause of atrophy is loss of innervation for example for example we have a muscle for example we have a muscle and that muscle is supplied by a nerve and when that nerve is disturbed due to any injury or that due to any loss when that muscle nerve is injured or cut off that muscles is no use that muscle does not perform its function this does the the size of the muscles decreases means due to the loss of innervation the muscle size is decreased that's these are some common pathological and physiological cause of or the stimulus of atrophy